Okay, maybe storage isn't the sexiest topic, but picking the right one can drastically improve your gaming experience. Faster load times, smoother open world performance. But with so many models boasting ridiculous speeds and acronyms, it can be tough to choose. So today, we're looking at the top five gaming SSDs on the market right now. And as always, the links to the best deals are in the description. We're kicking things off with one of the best bang for buck drives on the market right now, the Crucial T500. Crucial has always been the reliable workhorse in the SSD world, kind of like the guy in your group project who doesn't talk much, but does all the work perfectly and on time. The T500 continues that trend. This drive uses PCIe Gen 4, which means you get plenty of bandwidth for modern games, and it hits speeds close to the ceiling for that generation. In day-to-day -day gaming, that translates to fast level loads, seamless transitions, and no bottlenecks when you're bouncing between massive titles like Elden Ring and Starfield. It is not just synthetic benchmark good, it delivers real performance. The T500 is also surprisingly efficient. It runs cool, draws less power than some of its flashier competitors, and fits into just about any desktop or laptop setup without issue. Even better? Crucial offers a version with a low-profile heatsink that makes it a great fit for the PlayStation 5. That's a big win for console gamers looking to boost their storage without turning their system into a space heater. Now, if we're being picky, there is one thing to keep in mind. Like a lot of budget-friendly Gen 4 drives, its sustained write speeds can taper off once you push it past its dynamic cache. That is not a big deal unless you're regularly transferring huge 4K video files or cloning drives. But for gaming, it handles everything like a champ. Overall, the Crucial T500 is kind of the stealth MVP. It is not the most hyped, but in terms of performance per dollar, stability, and versatility, it punches way above its weight. Next up is the Corsair MP600 Pro LPX, and this one's for the gamers who don't just want speed, they want swagger. If the Crucial T500 is the quiet overachiever, the MP600 Pro LPX is the jacked up athlete that shows up early, performs hard, and still looks cool doing it. Corsair built this drive with performance and endurance in mind, and you can feel it the moment it boots up. We're talking lightning fast load times, buttery smooth asset streaming, and zero hiccups when you're jumping between modern open world games or running demanding titles off the drive itself, whether you're launching Hogwarts Legacy, Warzone, or your 300th modded Skyrim run, this SSD just does not flinch. And then there's the heatsink. Unlike some drives that treat thermal design as an afterthought, the MP600 Pro LPX comes with a pre-installed aluminum heatsink that actually works. It keeps temps stable under load, which means consistent performance even during long gaming sessions. No thermal throttling, no silent slowdowns, it just holds its ground. That makes it especially good for the PlayStation 5 as well. In fact, it's one of the officially recommended drives for expanding PS5 storage. The size fits perfectly, and the cooling setup means it stays fast even when your game library starts to stack up. Now, it is not the absolute fastest Gen 4 SSD on the market. Drives like the Samsung 990 Pro edge it out in raw numbers. But here's the thing, you probably will not feel that difference in real-world gaming. What you will notice is that the MP600 Pro LPX feels fast all the time, not just in benchmarks. It is a consistent performer, not a flashy one-hit wonder. If you want an SSD that balances top-tier speed with excellent thermal management and broad compatibility, especially for both PC and console gaming, the Corsair MP600 Pro LPX is an easy recommendation. Now let's talk about a drive that has become almost legendary in gaming circles, the WD Black SN850X. This SSD is like the Season Pro in the lineup. It's been around for a while, it's got the pedigree, and it still outperforms most of the newer competition. If you've watched any top-tier gaming builds on YouTube or Twitch in the past year or two, chances are you've seen the SN850X in action. There's a reason for that. It just works, and it works fast. Western Digital tuned this drive with gamers in mind. It's not just about having high numbers on a spec sheet. It's about consistent game-optimized performance. With the latest firmware, you get Game Mode 2.0 comma, which helps maintain peak speed during intense gaming sessions. That's not just marketing fluff. It legitimately smooths out asset loading and reduces those annoying micro stutters in open world games that stream textures and data on the fly. And in terms of raw speed, it's right up there with the best of Gen 4. Whether you're loading into massive multiplayer matches or launching heavy hitter titles like Baldur's Gate 3 
or Spider-Man 2, it barely breaks a sweat. It handles large updates, massive install sizes, and game transfers like it's nothing. The SN850X also gives you some options. You can get it with a heatsink, some even come with RGB if that's your thing, or grab the bare version if you've already got your own thermal setup. It's PlayStation 5 compatible too, fitting snugly into the slot and taking full advantage of that fast internal storage lane. Now, as with most premium SSDs, the price can creep up a bit, especially at higher capacities, but what you're paying for here is maturity. The firmware is stable, the drive has been thoroughly stress tested by the gaming community, and Western Digital's reliability track record is solid. If you're building a high performance gaming rig and you don't want to take any chances, the SN850X is still one of the safest bets on the market. All right, now we enter the Elite class, meet the Samsung 990 Pro, this is the SSD you buy when you want absolutely no compromises. It's the luxury sports car of Gen 4 storage, sleek, refined, brutally fast, and engineered with obsessive precision. Samsung didn't just aim to match the competition with the 990 Pro. They basically said, what if we just made the fastest and most efficient Gen 4 SSD and then added a bunch of extra polish? First off, the speed is outrageous. We're talking real-world read and write, performance that pushes the limits of PCI Gen 4. That means you're getting the absolute fastest load times, even compared to other premium drives. And if you're the kind of gamer who multitasks, say gaming, streaming, recording, and maybe editing a clip in Premiere all at once, the 990 Pro handles that chaos without blinking. It's also got shockingly high IOPS performance. That's input-output operations per second for those who want the full nerd breakdown. In simple terms, it's freakishly responsive. Opening big games feels instant, moving large files is practically teleportation, and running demanding apps doesn't slow anything else down. It's like your entire system just took a shot of espresso. Samsung also nailed the thermal design here. The 990 Pro comes in two versions, one with a low-profile heatsink, which happens to fit perfectly in a PlayStation 5, and one without for custom builds. Either way, it stays cool under pressure. And the included Samsung Magician software lets you monitor performance, update firmware, and even boost longevity with just a few clicks. Now, is it pricey? Yes. And do you need this level of performance just to game? Honestly, probably not. But if you're the type who likes to future-proof your setup or you just want the best of the best, this is the drive that delivers. It's like upgrading from a great sports car to a supercar. Not essential, but once you've experienced it, everything else feels a little slower. Now for our wild card, the Predator GM 7000. No, not that Predator. There's no thermal vision or alien shoulder cannon here, but what you do get is a surprisingly strong performing NVMe drive from a brand you might not expect, Acer. Yep, the same company best known for laptops and gaming monitors is now making SSDs under its Predator gaming line, and the GM7000 is turning some heads. On paper, this drive looks like it wants to play with the big boys. It's a PCIe Gen 4 model with peak speeds that go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the heavy hitters, around 7,400 megabytes per second read and 6,700 write, and it actually gets close to those numbers in real-world gaming and file transfers, which is more than you can say for a lot of budget options out there. One of the nice surprises is that it includes a graphene thermal pad pre-applied to the label. It's a subtle touch, but it does help with heat dissipation. Assuming your case has halfway decent airflow, just don't expect it to perform miracles under prolonged heavy writes, think copying giant game folders or rendering video, the GM7000 can get toasty and throttle a bit but for day-to-day -day gaming use, totally solid. What really makes this drive stand out is the value. It often comes in noticeably cheaper than its better known rivals, especially if you catch it on sale. And unlike some budget drives that cut corners by removing DRAM, the GM7000 includes a DRAM cache, which keeps things snappy during routine gaming tasks and multitasking. If you're building a rig on a budget, but still want a drive that performs like it belongs in a high-end setup, this is one of the most underrated SSDs you can buy. It's not flashy. It hasn't been around as long as the others, but it shows up and does the job surprisingly well. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. It really helps me out. And subscribe for more straightforward tech reviews. See you next time.